Once upon a time, there were two brothers born into a poor family. One year, rice was very expensive, so my parents had to go to the forest to dig tubers to eat. One day, unfortunately, there were too few tubers dug up, not enough to share with the children. They asked their mother for help and she said, and quat, go to dad and quat. When asked by their father, he said, and quat, go to mom and quat. So the two of them had to starve. Angry with their parents, they left home to wander around looking for food. Seeing the seat heating up, Fane knew something bad was happening under the ceiling. Knowing that there were two children wandering around starved by their parents, Fane turned into a cobra and a squirrel and bit each other in the middle of the road. Sometimes the cobra pretended to be dead, the squirrel gnawed on a tree bark and sprayed it and the cobra immediately came back to life. The two children were very happy. Continuing to go to the village, the two children stayed at a shrine outside the village. At that time, in this village, there was a princess who had just died. The king was very sad and announced to everyone that whoever could save her life would marry her to that person. The doctors in the village tried their best to cure her but no one can bring the princess back to life. That day, a person from the village passed by the village. The two brothers asked about the work in the village, learned about the princess, and agreed to cure the princess. The people were very happy and returned to talk to the king. There was a doctor outside the village who agreed to treat the princess. The king immediately ordered them in. The two brothers chewed that special tree bark and sprayed it on the princess and number 39's body, and she immediately came back to life. Keeping his promise, the king married the princess to his brother and gave them the right to rule that village. The two brothers lived happily. After a while, the two brothers wanted to visit their parents. Before leaving, the brother told his wife not to bring the medicine package out to dry in the dew on full moon nights. After the two brothers left, Fane performed a miracle to make the princess forget her instructions to get back the magic medicine package. She brought the medicine package out to dry in the dew on the full moon night. Fane came down from the moon and took the medicine package and took it away. The husband returned, and the princess told him the incident. He was sorry, so he told the animals to fight with the moon. The first time he sent a chicken, the chicken told him, Below the ceiling, you must shoot guns, beat drums, beat gongs and shout to help. But the chicken left and did not return, it turned into a constellation of seven small stars in the middle. East. People in the northeastern region of Thailand call this constellation and quat. Chicken constellation and quat. Or and quat. V star and quat. Then, he sent elephants to fight. The elephant also disappeared and turned into a constellation of seven stars larger than the constellation of chicks. Next, the pig was sent to fight Fane. The pig also disappeared and turned into the constellation of the pig, located in the west. Rising at sunset, this constellation is large and bright, and sets at about 9 or 10 o and number 39, clock at night. When the turtles were sent out, the turtles also disappeared like the other animals, and turned into turtle stars. This star is larger than the pig star, rising in the east at dawn. When it reaches a distance of a pole, the sky is bright. Finally, they sent the frog away. The frog fights the moon for real. Therefore, when there is a lunar eclipse, people in northeastern Thailand think that frogs are still fighting with the moon or frogs are eating the moon.
so they invite each other to shout, beat gongs, beat drums, shoot guns, knock on trees, knock on mortars. Dot. To help them. Frog. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.